and the world around them and improving the lives of their families, communities and countries. I was born in this community. I grew up in this community and uh, we have very few actually people who have reached university and they're accountable. We only have like three. Through hardship, I said I want to reach university such that when I come back to my community, they can believe that irrespective of where you come from, you can make it in line with education. As a development economist, all the passion that I have is to eliminate poverty. And one of the things that I'm focusing on already is ensuring that the community itself can come up with initiatives that can help the community overcome poverty. And currently we started up a saving group that has been running for the last two years. We started it when I was in year two at the university. And currently it brings together 60 elders or uh, members of the community and this saving group uh, people save the little money they can have every Sunday they gather together and they, they, they save their 1,000, 2,000 and the pool of money that comes together helps in times of in the times of emergency it's not just about you reading your book and having a good laptop and, uh, and a cushion through a scholarship, but you must also relate to your own ecology, environment. You're, you're studying with your fellow students, fellow Ugandans, fellow people of the world. Uh, students go out and do community work, uh, which is good. Something some of us never quite got to get to the grip of it in our days. But giving back is good, because it allows you to mobilize these youngsters to go and relate to the community. And the community might as well also begin to say, hey, we thought that Makere is all about strikes. It's all about what? But these youngsters can find time to do this community work. I think that's also the, 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 in that way, being ambassadors, if you will. It should not also be just a show of, that they're giving back to show that, you know, should come also from the heart. Immediate post-university life is usually a challenging experience for any student, and this is not limited to MasterCard scholars. For those fortunate enough to get on the program, however, their transition to the workplace is guaranteed to be smoother than most, thanks to a variety of programs designed to equip scholars with communication, entrepreneurship and leadership skills, among others. We are following uh, a design program by the MasterCard Foundation uh, Scholars Program, where they look at uh, three pathways. Uh, for the scholars. Uh, they look at uh, entrepreneurship, they look at employment, and further education. Uh, when entrepreneurship, uh, we give the scholars uh, work readiness skills uh, during the semester period. Uh, and these work readiness skills uh, is feedback that we get from uh, potential employers, especially the issues of uh, communication. Uh, most employers want uh, scholars that can communicate well. There are other issues concerning confidence, uh, interpersonal skills. So we bring in uh, industry experts uh, who, who give uh, the scholars the skills. We help these scholars in identifying potential places where they can uh, apply, especially when there are job opportunities uh, in these places. We, we encourage them, we give them recommendation letters uh, to go to the instit these institutions. Uh, another entry point for employment is during internship, uh, when students go for these internship programs. Uh, we tell them to be very mindful of, uh, of issues like their character, you know, they have to give a very good impression. MasterCard has connected me to different people of different walks of life. 
and I feel that it is me to make an effort now to make myself a better person. From our stipend, I was able to save some, to save some money and start up a fashion house, which I manage myself. It has really done me good. I've been trained in leadership and I'm so privileged that much of what I'm going to do and what I've done so far is based on my skills and trainings that I've received in this scholarship. I traveled to Nairobi for the Africa Careers Network. It was really a great opportunity. We go to network with people. We go to talk to different kinds of people. We shared knowledge and I indeed gained a lot. The MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program is more than a scholarship initiative. It is about providing opportunities, transforming mindsets and changing lives. The legacy of this intervention looms large, its impact undeniable. To date, the program has committed more than 700 million US dollars to supporting the education and leadership development of more than 30,000 young people. For the 1,000 of those who are beneficiaries through the Mastercard Foundation Scholars Program at Makere University, there couldn't be a better endorsement of the need for collaboration, knowledge sharing, and cross-partnership initiatives. I believe that Mastercard is on course in improving their impact on the African continent since they would like to increase the support they give to graduate students and hence research and innovation will be affected. So I believe that the new strategic direction of Massacred Foundation is going to produce better results and increase the impact the money they are giving to us and the investments on the African continent that they are making. In January 2018, the first cohort of scholars admitted to the program in 2014 graduated. A moment of pride made even more memorable by the fact that among the graduating scholars was one Claire Muga Akinyi, who achieved a first class degree, and one international scholar from the war ravaged South Sudan. Before I joined Macquarie University, I was a young girl with so many dreams that didn't seem like they were going to come to pass. I wanted to pursue these dreams, but there was no avenue for me to come to university. And then the MasterCard Foundation came in and supported me through my three years at university. And now I have just graduated with a first class degree in community psychology. And we had challenges as a family. I was a teacher, I had some medical problems which required me to retire from teaching before then. So when MasterCard came, uh, they helped us, boosted, I mean, uh, for, uh, funded the class education in university and I want to thank them very much for the job well done. I was actually then one of the luckiest scholars actually to be awarded in MasterCard Foundation scholars at Macquarie University. Then I, during the course of my study at Macquarie University, I abandoned went under many training actually. I had uh, gone under leadership training, then and financial, social skill training, apart from my academic actually. The skill I have gained at Macquarie University, I'm intending to go and transform agriculture sector in my country. Cohorts 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 are all beckoning to bring change to Uganda in particular and to inspire the world as a global community of MasterCard scholars. To measure our, the success of our program, we are not only looking at the graduation, but beyond the graduation, will the scholars be in position to get the jobs or will they be in position to make an impact on their communities? 
out of 28, if you have one first class degree, the, the, the proportion is quite high compared to the overall university establishment. And the good thing is, uh, I think, uh, out of those 60% already have job placements. So which means that we are doing well and we are excited for them as much as they are excited for themselves. When I look at myself currently, I see that the dreams I had are now coming to pass. I thank God so much for MasterCard Foundation for making it happen, for getting to pay everything. It's, it has made my life at campus excellent. I almost lost hope of attaining that dream, but thanks to MasterCard Foundation scholarship program, I was able to go to university and here I am. MasterCard has provided me, has empowered me. I was the Women Affairs Minister. I didn't know, I didn't know I can be. But when I arrived at Makerere, then I saw the chart of the ministers of Mary Stewart. I was inspired, I wanted to be part of them. I'm seeing myself as an IT consultant. I majored in procurement and I'm planning on starting my own business because I did business administration. Channeling our energies towards the youth is very critical. I cannot overemphasize this. And I think this is the strength of my emphasis that MasterCard Foundation has done as a good job. And we look for more. And I have no doubt that stewardship, you give me something to keep, to nurture, I must give accountability.